We've got some breaking news here. Just moments ago, Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren posted a video on Twitter officially endorsing former Vice President Joe Biden for president, saying empathy matters. And in this moment of crisis, it is more important than ever. This comes just one day after President Obama officially endorsed his former VP. I want to bring in Jim Messina. He was deputy chief of staff under President Obama. He was also the campaign manager of President Obama's 2012 reelection campaign. Jim joins me now. Jim, your reaction uh, to the timing and the tone of both of these endorsements, how big is this? It's a really big contrast, right? When you see President Trump with his erratic leadership and his daily, you know, clown show press conferences, to have real upstanding leaders like Barack Obama and Elizabeth Warren talk about Joe Biden in personal terms, the kind of leader he would be, that contrast is really important right now. And it's a contrast that the Biden campaign is going to bank on going forward. Then do they need to do it in a bigger way? You co- what did you just call it? The president's daily clown show. That's his press briefing. Should mm-hmm. Joe Biden be counter programming that? Should he be creating his own shadow government, shadow cabinet, shadow SWAT team and getting up there at a podium every night saying, here's the crisis we're in. Here's what we need to do to address this. Well, he's done some of that, right? He's released the most comprehensive plan about what to do in this COVID crisis. Um, if it's if it was the plan Donald Trump was implementing right now, we'd all be OK. So Biden's been very specific about what he should do as to, you know, his role in all this. It's tough, right? He's not the leader yet. It can look political. You know, he's doing what I think he should be doing, which is consolidating his base and getting ready for the general election. I think that's what he can do right now. But I think he's been very specific about his actions and what he would do as president of the United States. And, you know, it's a time that none of us have ever gone through. How do you campaign in a time when you can't go see voters? I mean, it's something that everyone's struggling with. And obviously, he has the biggest challenge ahead of him. Um, And we'll see what steps he takes going forward to kind of reinvent a modern American campaign with about 200 days left. Let's talk about consolidating his base. President Obama set aside a lot of time in his video to praise Senator Sanders. Why? Well, because he understands that Senator Sanders finished second in this race for the second time. Millions and millions of Americans were excited about his candidacy, and he brought real energy to this. And the first thing you have to do to win a presidential election is consolidate your base. President Obama is obviously the most popular political figure in America, and especially with Democrats. His approval rating is over 95 percent. And it was time for him to say to a whole bunch of Americans who were as excited about his campaign as they were Bernie Sanders, look, we're all in this together. And we shouldn't assume part of what, you know, there's criticism, I think fairly so, is in 2016, Democrats just assumed everyone would get on board after the primary. And that didn't happen. And so President Obama, Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren are all not assuming anything and are going to make the case to these voters who were absolutely 